everybody. I'm JC. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to tell you about a tattoo that I just got and how I handled the aftercare for that. It's my first tattoo. I've never had a tattoo before. I doubt I'll ever get another one. But um, at my age, I'm trying to uh, do all of the things. I want to try everything once and getting a tattoo is one of those things. So what I did was got the tattoo. Obviously, I'm going to show a picture right up here about what it looked like right after it was done. You're going to see that there is a clear plastic bandage called Saniderm on top of it there. You can kind of see it in the photo. And that stayed on. My tattoo artist said it was good to have that on for three or four days. So I didn't have the edges, the seal break or it leak or anything. So I went ahead and left it on the full four days. You can see though in the picture that, in this one, that the plasma, some ink, some fluids will build up underneath the bandage and make everything look blurry. Totally normal, don't worry about that. Um, it, it goes away once you peel it off. So after about four days in the shower, I peeled it off gently everything looked good. And then I started the next round of aftercare. And for me, I chose to use red light. This is a red light therapy bulb. Um, if you have an Omnilux mask, those work too. You can just set it on there. So I shot red light at my tattoo about three inches away, 10 minutes or so morning and night for the next couple of weeks. And I had really great success with that approach. I checked with my dermatologist to make sure that that was safe to do. And it is, you wanna keep UV light off your tattoo. Um, so no sunlight, no tanning beds, things like that. But red light is really great for wound healing and for your skin and skin repair and collagen regeneration. Lots of studies show that that's the case. And so I'm, I'll put a link to a couple of the studies to prove it in the description, but it works and it's good stuff now. I can't tell you that the healing was better with the red light versus without it because I've only ever had one tattoo. I have nothing to compare it to. Maybe I just heal really easily. But the red light did seem to make a difference um, in the speed of the healing because by the end of two to three weeks, everything was perfect. I had no scabbing. I had no peeling, no inflammation. Everything was great. So I'm not sure how much the red light contributed, but I thought it was definitely worth a try. The other thing I wanted to tell you about was diaper cream, my secret weapon. I put a layer of this, it's like a white paste. It's for baby's bums. It's very gentle. It's zinc oxide based. I put a layer of this over the tattoo. Mine's in the middle of my back, so it was hard to reach, but um, every night before bed. And it sort of seals in the moisture and helps keep it nice and um, supple, I guess. You don't want your skin to dry out. Um, so both my tattoo artist and my dermatologist said not to use a petroleum base, so not like a Vaseline, but something like a gentle lotion, an unscented cream of some sort, or diaper paste works really well. So that's what I did, and I hope that if you ever decide to get a tattoo that it goes as smoothly for you as it did for me. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes if you ever try it. Okay, thanks, I hope to see you again next time, bye.